It is that time of year. We're talking about some high school basketball, and I got the guy that's going to break down a lot of the area teams here who, who's in the know. I'm talking about Coach G, Troy Doughty of Elite Exposure. Coach, thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate it, man. And uh, let's just jump right in here with, uh, with okay. some of these high school teams we got. Let's start off with Panther Creek. It was a, what, 4A Sweet 16 last year. I know you've got a good beat on them. What do you see for them this go-around? I see them actually uh, contending for a championship this year. Uh, Coach Shawan has the boys playing really, really tough, and uh, he always knows how to prep a team, you know, being a Division I player himself. Uh, he's got his team ready, got a lot of young guys over there, but uh, I'm really intrigued by uh, his point guard, J Jatez Ward. I'm a point guard guy. I like point guards. <laughs> so uh, Jatez Ward <laughs> is, uh, has come a long way since uh, I've, I've known him for a long time, and he's he's ready to lead the team, and I think they're going to uh, turn some heads. Uh, another school that I spend a lot of time at, especially in the postseason, and that is Millbrook. They made the Sweet 16 last year in that 4A. I just assume that they reload every single year instead of rebuild. Is that going to happen again? Uh, Millbrook is, uh, is, is, is an anomaly when it comes to uh, sports in general, but especially on the basketball side, they keep funneling kids in, funneling kids in. So Coach Davis does a really good job over there of getting guys prepared. And you have to believe in the system over there. If you don't believe in the system, then Coach Davis is not going to uh, put you on his roster. So uh, I expect big things from Millbrook this year as well. Another squad, it's uh, you win the first one, that's big news, but can you win it again? And Wilson Prep, that, that seems to be the big question. Can they do it? What do you think? I think they can. Um, actually, uh, people probably disagree with me, but um, because of their uh, performance, I think that they might need to move up the two-way, but that's based on size of school and everything. Yeah, they're, they're that good. Uh, they're point guard. Again, I'm a point guard guy. Uh, Brandon Anderson. <laughs> no, a trend here. It's a trend here, yeah. Brandon Anderson uh, been their starting point guard since he was a freshman. Uh, this is his senior year. And he has two state championships, led his team to two state championships. Um, you know, they got a lot of guys up front. They got uh, terrific shooters on the perimeter. And, you know, and I think that they're going to take it again this year. Now, we got that team that obviously is going to try and repeat. But a squad that's on the rise, a lot of people kind of saw coming a little bit last year, Sanderson. You think they've got what it takes this year to maybe – Knock off a few squads. Make it Sanderson real deep. is going to be very dangerous this year. Uh, they got some really good kids over there that play really, really hard, and uh, I really believe that that they're gonna they're gonna upset some teams. They're gonna come in your gym and they're gonna take on a they're gonna take a W with them. So uh, I would be aware of Sanderson, especially watch out for Gordy. He's got a really, really good uh, stroke. He plays all the way through the game and he doesn't quit so uh, I will really watch out for him and I will really make sure that um, that uh, I'll be ready when they when they step in my gym and when you go to their house as well yeah always tough playing out of that place another place it's always tough to come away with a W and especially recently Holly Springs those guys had a nice run last year and you think they're gonna be right back in there and again Holly Springs is uh, sort of like Millbrook at this point where they just keep funneling kids in they keep finding talent they keep finding ways to win and they not backing down off of anybody. So I see they're going to have a really good successful season this year as well. And one that kind of surprised me, well, I guess it shouldn't, but you, you look a little further south here, E.E. E. Smith. You, you really like that squad. Yeah, E.E. E. Smith. I spent a lot of time in the Sand Hills, Fayetteville area. <laughs> <laughs> I like it down there. Uh, you know, uh, they always make me feel at home at every school. And uh, I think the Golden Bulls, uh, they got a really, really good point guard. Yep. They got a really, really good Definitely point guard. Definitely noticing a trend here and, with this uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, so um, Coach Tillman always, always has his guys ready to play. Um, you know, I think that, uh, that they do a lot of stuff that a lot of teams don't do. Um, they, follow, they, they follow what they say. In other words, they talk the talk and they walk the walk. Now, we're not just about the guys here. We're also going to take a look at the uh, women's side as well. And there's a couple of teams we want to talk about that uh, I brought up to you. And I'm just going to throw it right at you at North Pitt. And it, it's always good when you've got people coming in. And you've got Jordan Spiller coming over to yeah. North Pitt. You think that could be the difference maker this year? 
Yeah, um, Zamaria Jones, nationally ranked uh, ESPN player. Uh, she's been holding it down over there a long time. Uh, some people call her Zam, some people call her Z, but uh, I call her A through Z because she can kind of do. Her, <laughs> she can kind of do everything. Uh, her nickname in the area is Little Mamba, so uh, Little Mamba is going to be back, and she's going to have a really good squad to help her out. They got some um, some girls that were kind of young last year, new to the spotlight when they transferred into the school, um, but as as playing last year, so now they're going to be a really, really formidable team, um, and they're not a one-woman show anymore, so that, that helps out. And another squad that we really enjoyed watching last year, Rollsville. They brought it every single night they stepped in the gym, and you think that they've got a better chance this year than last year? Yes, because uh, Coach Nikita Warren, uh, if you don't know that name, coaches better know it. So she is definitely uh, a motivator. Uh, she gets the most out of her players. Uh, she gets more than even, you know, uh, other coaches have gotten out of previous years before. So she's one that um, that's definitely going to motivate her girls. They're going to be charged. They're going to play defense, and, you know, they're going to score some buckets. So I expect big things from them. And I know when you go into their football games, it's rowdy over at South Carolina. Oh, Gardner. yeah. And I know when you go into the boys, the girls bring it just as much, and their fans do too. In South Carolina, do you think that product on the court this year is going to take uh, going to take some people by surprise. Yeah, uh, South Ghana, I found out they got a transfer in. Uh, Coach Ashley Fuller, she's doing a really good job over there, but they had a transfer in. Uh, Taylor Moore, uh, transferred in, and uh, she's a uh, freshman. Excuse me, she's not transferred in. She's entering the school as a freshman, and uh, she's um, got a long lineage of basketball in her family, and it shows. Like, she can really play. She can really play post, and she can bring it on the outside, too. It's high praise from a person first getting in there now. And it's it, talking about these teams that have been there, done that, and whether it's easier to win one or win two, Panther Creek, uh, those girls, uh, do they have <laughs> what it takes to win again is the question. Can they right. do it again? Right. Panther Creek, I think that they're locked and loaded and they're ready to do it again. Um, there's going to be a lot of contenders trying to dethrone the Queens, but I think <laughs> that they can actually pull it off. I think that uh, Panther Creek has got a lot of depth. Um, you know, they got a really, really good coach, and I think that they'll, uh, they're they going to be still at the top of the, the – when we're all when it's all said and done. And a team that played an exciting brand of basketball, I got to catch the tail end of a couple of games because we get out of here just in time to, you know, see the last, like, quarter. Mm. Apex Friendship, you're talking about an exciting brand of basketball. Right, you think right. they've got a brand that can uh, run deep in the postseason. Yeah, year. Apex Friendship, they're, they're charged. So I think that, uh, you know, with um, – with, the, with the, the talent that they have, especially uh, since they have um, Jasmine Navarre, and I think that, you know, she's got some other really good girls around her, Jasmine Navarre, point guard. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely so, <laughs> seeing a theme here. So okay. we're going to we're going to we're going to really, really see uh, I, I, how she can lead her team. I think she's got, you know, lineage in her family as well. Sure. Uh, sister being Indian of our McDonald's All-American. So, yeah. you know, she she's ready to step out of her sister's uh, spotlight and uh, have the spotlight on, on her own. And once again, another school that we you know, always get to and know about for high school football. But Terry Sanford, you think the ladies down there this year? year have got something that they're going to surprise a lot of people with. Just what is it they're bringing to the table that's going to make people take notice of that squad? Terry Sanford, very, very young. Uh, Coach Goodman uh, just took over the program, um, and he's been working with the girls. Uh, and his mental game, more than the physical game with them, is really, really great. Um, you know, the thing about them is that they're young, but they're super talented. They're super talented, so um, they're going to definitely open some eyes this year. And one that I really wasn't expecting, uh, Cape Fear. That was a squad that I was like, hmm, that, that surprised me last year, but you think they've got just that extra little bit to get to that next level. What is it that they showed you that maybe we're not seeing? Cape Fear is a, a school that has always been on the cusp. They've always had great talent coming through, but I think this year is going to be their breakthrough. I think that they're going to get really, really deep, and uh, who knows, they might come out on top in the, in the 3A. And I know the boys, we talked about them doing well at E.E. Smith, but you think that girls team over there can basically stay right with them, win for win. What, what is it? What, what's in the water, first of all, down at E.E. Smith to turn out these <laughs> basketball players, but why do you think that they've got such a run in them this year? 
Well, E.E. E. Smith, man, uh, Coach Hardy, you know, a legend. You know, I asked her, I interviewed her last year. I asked her, how does it feel to coach in the gym with your name on the floor? So uh, she <laughs> said she don't even pay it no mind. She just go about business the you, way it you is. You actually believe that now? That when you, want, <laughs> you don't think she's out there maybe shining that name up a little bit? I mean, you know, the smudge. Come on. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I think that she's very humble, and uh, she knows how to uh, have her girls motivated. And I think that uh, her girls are uh, receptive to uh, the lineage that's come through the school before them, and they respect all of the players that came through before them that actually helped make that program what it is. So I think that uh, Coach Hardy's going to have those girls ready to play, and they're going to come out, and they're going to do, uh, they're going to take care of business. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. What can we expect from Elite Exposure? What you got going on over there? What can we help you with? Elite Exposure, we got next coming up. Uh, our first is our Play Like a Girl Classic uh, at Freedom Courts, uh, November 17th and 18th of this year, of course. <laughs> we got a lot of teams uh, coming to play in that. We got uh, uh, Mount Zion Prep out of Washington, D.C. Uh, we got um, J.L. Chalmers coming up from Charlotte. We got um, North Raleigh Christian. Um, they're going to be in it as well. Their girls are going to be in it. E.E. Um, e. Smith. <laughs> they're go they're going to be in it as well, and uh, we got a lot of other schools. Of course, the whole school Freedom Christian will be in it. So we got a lot of uh, exciting basketball about to happen at that event. And then following that, the, the first weekend of December, December first and second, we got the Dreamville Winter Showcase, and that's a boys and girls event. But that's going to be a really good event as well. You definitely don't let the grass grow under those uh, Adidas, you guys. <laughs> that's for sure. What's the uh, email? Not the email. What's the web address we can get you with this one? Uh, our uh, our website is uh, www.eliteexposure.org, and uh, you can find all our upcoming events on there. And, uh, you know, if you want to follow us on social media, it's at Elite Exposure underscore on X and Instagram. Thank you very much for stopping by and talking to you, basketball. Chris. Appreciate it. He will definitely you. be back. We're going to drag him in here a couple of times.